वेलकम टू एस एस टीटोरियल टूडे आई एम हेयर उथ अ निव भिडियो दिस भिडियो इज गोईंग टू बी ऑन अ भेरि इम्पर्टेंट टपिक सो प्लिज डोट स्कीप एंड कीप वाचिंग टूडे इन दिस भिडियो उई उल डिसकस अबाउट इंटेरियर स्ट्राक्चर अब द आर्थ सो लेट्स बिगिन इफ उई ब्रडलि डिवाइड इंटेरियर अब द आर्थ देन उई कैन डिवाइड आर्स इंटेरियर इन टू थ्री लेयार्स दे आर क्रास्ट मेन्टेल एंड कोर Here we must know that due to rapid increase of temperature no one able to reach in the earth's interior even today that means no one able to see earth's interior directly due to unavailability of direct data geoscientists divides earth's interior on the basis of collected data from some direct and indirect sources observation and collection of data from magma or volcanic eruption and rocks are considered as direct sources of information about earth's interior and gravitation gravity anomaly meteors magnetic sources analyzing rate of change of temperature and pressure and seismic waves are considered as indirect sources of information about earth's interior but among all of them seismic waves plays major role to know about earth's interior analyzing seismic waves mainly primary waves and secondary waves geoscientist able to know most of the information about earth's interior primary waves moves fast through solid and moves slow through liquid but secondary waves moves only through solid that is how geoscientists divides earth's interior interior structure of the earth may compare with a boiled egg where shell of the egg may compare with crust white part of the egg may compare with mantle and egg yolk may compare with core before we know about different layers of the earth's interior we should know that although we have taken a certain boundary of each layers for convenience of understanding but actually the interior layers have no definite boundaries that means no layer can be separated from another though geoscientists separates them by using some imaginary discontinuity which we will discuss later let's know about crust crust is the uppermost and solid layer of the earth where we are living it is the most younger layer of the earth only 1% of the earth's volume and 0.5% of the earth's mass are made of the crust average thickness of the earth crust is about 30 km though the thickness is not same in everywhere the thickness of the earth crust gradually increases from coast to middle of the continent that's why thickness of the earth crust is highest in the tibet region the earth crust is composed of mainly silica aluminum and magnesium The earth crust further divided into two sub layers they are continental crust and oceanic crust continental crust is also known as shale as it is composed of silica and aluminum the layer forms the continent average density of the continental crust is 2.8 g per cubic centimeter the continental crust mainly consists of granite which is lighter in color oceanic crust is also known as sima or saima as it is composed of silica and magnesium the layer located beneath the ocean average density of the oceanic crust is 3 g per cubic centimeter the layer mainly consists of basalt which is dark in color these two different density layers continental and oceanic crust are separated by a certain discontinuity which is called as conrad discontinuity let's know what is actually a discontinuity discontinuity is nothing but an imaginary line which separates two different layers according to geoscientist area between crust and core where velocity of seismic waves changes they are called as discontinuity there are numbers of discontinuity present in the earth's interior which we will know later let's know about mantle the portion between crust and core is known as mantle thickness of this layer is about 2900 km the mantle is composed with the elements like iron magnesium chromium nickel and so on mean density of this layer is 3.4 to 5.5 g per cubic centimeter nearly 84% of the earth's volume and almost 67% of the earth's mass is occupied by the mantle temperature of this part may ranges between 2000 degree to 3000 degree centigrade mantle also divides into two sub layers they are upper mantle and lower mantle upper mantle also known as crofessima as it is composed of chromium iron silica and magnesium The layer lies between 30 km to 700 km and almost all the earthquakes originates here. Mean density of this layer is about 3.4 to 4.5 g per cubic centimeter. Entire earth crust and upper mantle together known as lithosphere. There is also a discontinuity between earth crust and upper mantle which is known as 
Morovisic discontinuity. The zone beneath the earth crust extends almost 50 km to 250 km, much hotter and more fluid, which is the main source of magma as well as volcanic eruption is known as asthenosphere. Convection currents generates in asthenosphere, which causes plate movement. The layer below the upper mantle and up to core lies almost 700 km to 2900 km is known as lower mantle, also known as Nifeshima, as it is composed of nickel, iron, silica and magnesium. Mean density of this layer is 4.5 to 5.5 gram per cubic centimeter. The imaginary line which separates upper mantle and lower mantle is known as repetitive discontinuity. Let's know about core. Core is the innermost part of the earth which surrounding the earth center. The core lies between 2900 km and 6370 km. Average temperature of core is about 5000 degrees centigrade. Even in such a high temperature, the materials of the center of the earth are in solid state because of heavy pressure. Nearly 15% of the earth's volume and about 32.5% of the earth's mass is occupied by core. Mean density of core may varies from 9.1 to 13.1 gram per cubic centimeter. Core is mainly composed of nickel and iron. That is why core is also known as nife. The discontinuity present between mantle and core is known as wichert gutenberg discontinuity. The core is also divided into two sub-layers. They are outer core and inner core. Upper part of the core, which lies between 2900 km and 5100 km, is known as outer core. Density of outer core is about 10 to 12.3 gram per cubic centimeter. And lower part of the core is known as inner core, which lies up to 6370 km. Density of inner core is about 12.3 to 13.6 gram per cubic centimeter. Pinning of materials in the inner core creates the earth's magnetic field. The discontinuity present between outer core and inner core is known as Lehmann discontinuity. That's all for today. Hope you like this video. If you like this video then please press the like button and share with your friends. To get our new video please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.